Hello and welcome to the Leathercraft Masterclass. And in this course, I'm gonna be taking you through the process on how to create a fully wrapped briefcase handle. Now there are some similarities to a handle that we made previously in the Bloomsbury Attaché course, but this is the creme de la creme of briefcase handles. Now the techniques involved in creating this handle are used by some of the top makers in the English bridal leather briefcase category. But in this course, I'm gonna be revealing all the little secrets that go into creating them so you can have a go at creating the Rolls Royce of briefcase handles. And one thing many of you will definitely appreciate is the lack of edge finishing involved in this, as this is a fully wrapped handle, which creates a very sleek, very smooth looking handle which is sure to complement any high-end briefcase. So before I nerd out on briefcases and handles, let's take it back to the table where I'll start out by going through the pattern that you'll be using for this build. Now in your pack, you'll have several different patterns and they all represent different parts of the handle. So first off, we have the main handle shape. This is something you might be familiar with already. And we're going to be making what we made in a previous course to begin with, which was the handle overall shape from the Bloomsbury Attaché case. So that was an older course. Now this handle is gonna be a little bit different to that, although it takes a general shape. There are some differences in this handle because this is going to be a full wrap. Now on the previous one on the Attaché case, we had what is known as a cut edge. And instead of burnishing, we finished it using edge paint in that particular instance. But it is a raw edge that needs finishing. The idea for this handle, however, is creating a full wrap, which is minimizing the amount of raw edges exposed. So that when you normally view the handle, you won't be able to see any edges at all. Now, taking your knife, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the outside line of the pattern all the way around. So it's not a straight line, it's a slight curve on each side. So carefully taking your time, just a guide cut to begin with. And then switch around to the other side, so just lightly cutting And it's much easier to hold a large piece of card uh, nice and still as you're cutting. So we're gonna switch it round each time. Because if we cut off one side, we can only hold the handle template to cut it off, which makes it a little bit difficult. So keep remembering to switch round. Then that last cut where you've only got the handle template to hold, it's very easy just to nip that off. And there we are. We have our handle pattern. So we're gonna take our template now, and on the underside, I've placed a strip of double-sided tape this is a very thin pattern and it's likely to move around a little bit on the smooth surface of this leather here. Now talking of this leather, this is three millimeters of hide. So this is just undyed vegetable tan leather, russet, crust, whatever you want to call it. Very firm, very thick and very strong. So direction, I'm cutting this from head to tail of the animal. So the head would be over here, the tail would be over here for example rather than the width of the animal, so more stretch resistance. This is a piece of shoulder, which is still okay. The best is probably butt leather, but due to the fact we're using a very thick piece of three millimeter, that's gonna be plenty strong. So taking our backing tape off there, placing it down reasonably close to the edge to give us the best yield, so we're not wasting too much leather, basically. And they can simply go around the leather and cut everything out. Guide cut first of all. So just a light cut. 
and then progressively firmer with your cut as you make your way around. Okay, so we're gonna move those two pieces out the way for a second, and we're gonna bring in two other pieces of leather. Now what I've done here is glue two strips of that three millimeter leather together to make a combined thickness of around six millimeters. Now I've done that twice. Now this is gonna be used for the filler. So we're gonna need this pattern here, and of course you would have cut out these parts indicated. The width of these strips isn't too important, but they're about 20 millimeters wide and long enough to take both handle fillers. Now grab a set of wing dividers and roughly about halfway in, just mark a faint line here. This just helps keep things central. Once you've centralized, just place a pattern weight down on each end to hold everything together. And now keeping the pattern down, I'm gonna take a scratch all and go around the internal perimeter. Now, if you want to make life easier for yourself, you can simply nail it at each end to a board. It just holds it steady as you cut. The secret techniques of the full wrap briefcase handle have been closely guarded by elite London briefcase makers for over 100 years. But this video is about to change everything, because I'll reveal the pinnacle of traditional handle making techniques in this new course. Expect to discover what leather to choose, alternative options and what hardware I recommend, so you'll be able to make your handle regardless of what you have access to. How to use the included PDF pattern to ensure perfect accuracy, so you can be sure you avoid making any costly mistakes. I'll even share one unusual trick to make sure you avoid wonky stitching, so your handle looks sleek and professional. To discover more about this course and dozens of other Leathercraft projects you can do at home, visit leathercraftmasterclass.com or tap the link in bio. Hi, my name is Philip and this is the Leathercraft Masterclass.